Hello, Dumpsterinos and Frugalistas, and welcome to the video. Before we get to Frugal Daddy's scraping the bottom of the barrel dumpster dive today, I just wanted to say a couple of things about all that broth he rescued the other day. The 108, I think it was, boxes of chicken broth and beef broth and vegetable broth and stock and cooking stock and bone broth and all the aforementioned combinations thereof. So I got emails from a few people and a few people left comments saying, oh, there's been a recall. So I looked it up and it's not a USDA recall, though most recalls are not initiated by the USDA. Apparently they're usually voluntarily issued by the producer of the food. So anyway, this recall is not on the USDA website. It is not on the Aldi website. I found information about it on Reddit because someone emailed the company. So supposedly, yes, there was a recall on broth, chicken broth, and I think beef and vegetable broth, because of possible microbial contamination. And one person on Reddit made the comment that she had opened a box of broth and it smelled terrible and she threw it out. So good use of the nose, right? Always smell it. Apparently someone emailed Aldi and they emailed back and okay so possible microbial blah 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 but here's the thing it's just the broth with certain best buy dates and those dates would be 2 18 24 no yes 2 18 24 3 8 24 and 3 31 24 so february and march of next year all the broth that frugal daddy found all of it has best buy dates in September of 24, October, November, December of 24, all the way up to November, December of 25. We didn't have any with earlier Best Buy dates. So why they throw all that out? There's a lot of reasons they throw things out that don't mean the food's not good to eat. And I'm actually working on a video on that very topic right now. Just wait for that. Theater's near you. The store probably got the message. You have to throw out broth with such and such a date. And they, this is just my theory. They said, we're not gonna bother to look through all this broth, just throw all the broth out. Just throw the broth out, the company will send more, just chuck the broth. Because it was the same way with that Jif peanut butter recall, remember that? When was that, a year ago or last spring? Whenever it was, whenever the Jif peanut butter recall was, we found a lot of Jif peanut butter in dumpsters. And there was a certain, I forget what you call it. It wasn't the best by date, but it was like a product code. So you could very easily look on the jar and see if your jar of GIF was part of the recall. And we found a lot of GIF in the dumpster that was part of that recall. And we found probably three times as much that wasn't part of the recall. But I think the stores probably just thought, oh, GIF recall, throw away all the GIF. Nobody's going to want to buy any GIF. Nobody's going to bother to look at the codes. Just chuck all the GIF. So we got a lot of peanut butter, which was great for the prepper pantry. And a lot of it, yes, had the okay, not the bad code on it. The ones we had that have the bad code, Frugal Daddy wouldn't throw them away. I wanted to get rid of them and he wouldn't. And he's been eating them himself one by one. And he's alive to tell the tale and that's on him. I told him not to. And I, so I'm not concerned about the broth and I'm not throwing it away. That's my two cents on that. Now. Let's get to Frugal Daddy's dive of the day. If anybody could squeeze water out of a stone, it's Frugal Daddy. And that's a metaphor for if anybody could pull trash out of a seemingly empty dumpster, it's Frugal Daddy. So it's not a huge haul today, but as you'll see, it looks like an empty dumpster, basically. Almost, sort of, except for the couple things at the bottom that he took, so. All right, so here we go with Daddy's dive. Good morning. We're at the Aldi dumpster. It's real early. And this is the one that the garbage truck took away before we got a chance to hop in there. So let's see if there's anything in there today. Ooh, it looks empty. Interesting. Hmm. Well, it's almost empty, but what's in there is looking good. So I think we're going to have to get some of that while we're here.
thankful. kittens we're back and like i said it's not a huge dive but this is all pretty good stuff i'm pretty psyched about this dive so let's take a look all right he we have two bags of italian salad they have the use by date of 10 5 which is in fact tomorrow so that means they threw this out two days ahead of time and it doesn't look bad to me it doesn't look like it's you know going brown we also have the bag of sweet butter lettuce with the best by date of 10 10 and that looks perfectly fine we have an iceberg lettuce. Clearly the Lord wants us eating salad. We have the mini sweet peppers. We have your shredded lettuce with the date of 10, 12. We've got your upside down baking potatoes. What is that, eight pound, five pound bag? What do we have there? Five pounds, five pound bag. Five pound bag of baking potatoes. We have got plums and they look great. They're great little plums. They're small, they're cute. They're cute little plums. Look how little, look how little. Just a little plum, the size of my wrist. We've got some peaches. I I just had a peach smoothie, peach yogurt smoothie this morning from the peaches I guess we got or whatever, nectarines, I'm not sure. I think these are nectarines, sorry about that. But anyway, from the last ones we got and it was really tasty, very, very, very summery. A very summery flavor are your peaches and nectarines. Lemons, lemons, lemons. We've been getting lots of lemons lately, which is nice. I'm very into the lemon water because I can't afford to buy even the generic Crystal Light lemonade mix. I can't, I can't buy it. So I'm going to make lemon water. Uh, Atlantic salmon, maybe shouldn't be right in the sun. $7.10, October 5th. And a second one, October 5th also, 728. So we'll open those right up. Maybe Google Daddy can throw those on the grill or we can poach them if they smell okay. We've got some Pico de Gallo. Its date was 10-3, so that was yesterday. It looks good though. I know it's kind of in the shade. Sorry, it's hard to see. Then we've got a pizza and a pizza and a pizza. Oh, don't you hate when we're partly in the shade and partly in the sun? It's so hard to see everything. Three pizzas. Those are all pepperoni. Those are all the cauliflower crust. And then, speaking of broth, broth and stock, Frugal Daddy found more. All right, let's check the dates. January 17th, 25. January 10th, 25. Focus. 10th. Okay, so those ones are all January 10th, 25, and then one January 17th, 25. So those are not part of the supposed recall that Aldi is doing with its broth, according to not its website nor the USDA, but according to Reddit. The ultimate source for all information. So anyway, if I opened one of these and it smelled bad, 
I would discard it. I wouldn't just be like, oh, well, no, I don't believe in the Best Buy day, so I'm going to use it anyway. No, of course not. One uses one's discernment. God gave us noses for a reason. I actually opened two boxes of beef, beef, I, mm, I actually opened two boxes of beef broth earlier today, and I am cooking a dumpster corned beef in it at the moment, and it seems to be doing quite well, and it smelled fine. So, there you go. There's everything, some in the shade and some in the sun to make it really hard to film it. Well, there you have it, frugalistas and dumpsterinos. What more can I say? But thank you for watching. What just happened over there? Dog just banged his head into the wheelbarrow. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, remember the cheese stuffed crust? Cheese stuffed crust? Cheese stuffed crust pizza. Yeah, that's right. Cheese stuffed crust pizza from yesterday, the pepperoni pizza. Frugal Daddy cooked that yesterday and reported that it was very delish. And it looked good. I didn't have it because I don't like pepperoni, but um, it looked good. And he said it was good. So yay for stuffed crust pizza. Oh, it's like a drag race out there. Anyway... I'm glad you guys were here today with us. It's a beautiful flipping day here in New Jersey. I mean, just freaking gorgeous. I have some laundry I need to hang out on the line. And I'm going to get to that right now and bring this food inside. Oof. B. All right, guys. See you again soon. I love you. Keep slaying. Keep praying. Keep staying. Keep not going graying. Keep Bobby flaying. And stay in that dumpster. I don't know. I just, I don't even know. I don't know where the